Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, High Country Overland, Josh here. All right, so today we're going to Brown Mountain OHV Trail System. We're gonna go check it out. So you can download these little brochures off the Brown Mountain website. Um, but Brown Mountain is, it offers 34 miles of trail. It's the only OHV area in the Pisgah National Forest. It's mainly for ATVs and dirt bikes, but there are two trails that you can take a Tacoma on or any four wheel drive vehicle. Trails one and trails eight. And so we're gonna go drive those today. You can take a look at it. All right, I've just arrived at the Brown Mountain OHV trail system. Make sure it's, it is a permit use area, so make sure you stop and get one of these day passes you know, I came down from Boone, Blowing Rock Road or 321, and then hit 90. There's some other roads, I can't remember, but 90. And then once you make, right before you make the left on Odoka Road, there's a big gas station there, a big sign says Hunt Pizza. Pull in there, that's where I picked up this for five bucks. So make sure you grab one of those. Here's the first trail marker you see, the trailhead sign. And you see there's another one back there, Brown Mount OHV area. All state laws and forest. Make sure you got your permit. Okay, let's go down here, take a look at the sign, and then drive it to the trails. All right, once you pull off Adoka Road into Brown Mountain, you're gonna drive up this little road here. There's a, another parking area you're gonna see because again, most people come up here are bringing their trail bikes, or bringing their ATVs, and there's some dispersed camping up here. Um, you need a permit to come to Brown Mountain. I've never camped up here, so I imagine you probably need a permit to camp. Okay, so here's the parking lot. See some dudes over here. Here we go on the bikes. Some bathrooms. There's an area there, gazebo. And a trailhead sign. Alright, so here's where the trail begins. So we start off on trail number one. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out. Steep, rocky area right here. See a steeper, rocky section here. I'm just going to go right over top of that. It's pretty dry out today. We lost a little traction there, so I just threw it four below, locked the rear differential. Probably not needed for a lot of it, but you know, Tacoma's got it. Might as well use it. Let's go.
you guys hear that? That rock hit the rock slider on the driver's side. A little bit of lazy driving on my part. I was trying to get the camera settings just right and nailed that rock. But that's why you have armor on the truck. Some more rocky uphill climbing. So that's the end of trail one and eight, Brown Mountain. We're back at the parking lot right here, back at the trailhead. All right, that's it. We're leaving Brown Mountain. Beautiful day today. It was a great little trail ride. and. Unfortunately, I messed up the guy at GPS track, so I'm gonna have to either download another one to put in the description or come back again and not mess it up. So, you can, Brown Mountain's a lot of fun, probably at least half of it's technical rock scrambling, and the rest is just hard packed dirt, at least it was today. Lots of gravel and loose rocks, too. Um, and definitely doable in my st stock suspension Tacoma TRD off-road. I did put it in low, and since uh, I do have the off-road version, I have a locking rear differential, so I locked that, had it low. It was nice to have that extra stability and traction, uh, but I've heard of people doing Brown Mountain with less than that. Uh, you know, I always recommend that you bring a buddy when you go off-roading, especially if you go someplace new. All my buddies are busy today, and I've been here before, and I have a winch, I got a high lift jack, I got recovery boards, and I knew it was dry, so I felt pretty confident I could come up here, ride these trails safely, and get back home. Um, there's some parts of the trail that were a little narrow, but, but not bad and uh, just not a whole lot of growth or like branches sticking in on the trail so that wasn't really a problem and there were two spots that I went up on a rock and then came down and a rock hit either one of the the passenger at one time and the driver's side uh, rock sliders so rock sliders came in handy today again I have stock clearance in this Tacoma I think it's like nine inches be easier if you had a lift and bigger tires but if you don't I definitely recommend some protection I checked out the front skid plate too and it was scuffed up but not, nothing really no big dings or anything like that and I looked at the rock sliders in the parking lot couldn't find any dings or dents or paint, paint chips or anything on them either so I'm not real sure exactly where they hit 
but they did drop down on something. So protection always helps. All right, we're on our way back to Boone now. We're gonna have a beautiful sunny drive up the mountain. If you like this video, hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions about Brown Mountain or anything else, just let me know. All right, I'll see you guys next video.